You know, I'm interested in what the other ship design possibilities were. With the, the, the Walter thing. Be curious to see him, you know? Maybe in a different playthrough. If ever there is one. Hi. Hello. I'm not used to people wanting to talk to me. That's sad. I hear you're an expert with grab drives and other ship parts. I need to ask a favor. Sure. That sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think you could spare some time. Thanks, Benu. Oliver Campbell sent me. I'm here about a grab drive for an old colony ship. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Thanks, Oliver ben. sent the courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. Okay. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. Noticed. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. It's some minor adjustments. Okay. It's in good shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. Okay. 40,000. I don't have 40,000. Maybe I could talk them down a little bit. Maybe we can find a way to lower that price a bit. It's a pretty big ask, given how yeah. rare these old grab drives are. But, like, I'm gonna do it. You've had that old part for how long? And no one has yet offered to buy it. True. I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Perhaps this is that right time. Well, it's definitely that right time, but I'm definitely going to try to talk you down. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? I hear you. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm still willing to talk. Thanks, man. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. I appreciate that. That seems very reasonable. You're done right at this. I'll get to work on it right away. Thanks. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. You too, Benu. Thanks, pal. That was a nice guy. I like that guy. A reasonable man. So, who the hell is Ron Hope? I haven't seen him yet. Hi. Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. Thanks. Give me your invoice. You got the financing set up already? What the hell are you talking about? Who do you think I am? Some middle manager type? Like 90% of everybody I deal with. <laughs> no. Listen, I'm you Reginald may need to goddamn your power. boss and all, but I don't care. Let's just get this done as efficiently as possible, and we'll, I'll just tell everybody how amazing you were. I don't have an invoice. You don't? Wait, you're a solo outfit, aren't you? Indeed. Okay. Nice. Well, what you need to know about our ships is they're from stern about built for reliability. Okay. Other star yards might got glitz or some weird crazy lines. With Hope Tech, you get people that care about you making that 300th freight run safely and on time. What do you know about Ron Hope? Listen, this whole system was nothing until Ron Hope came here. He gave us a purpose, a... A mission. Something we could be proud of. To us, this job is life. And the quality of what we make shows it. You know, anytime I've ever heard of anybody like this Ron Hope character, it's bad. So. You have a good day. You too. Nice of meeting you. All, all I'm saying, Sarah, is just don't drink the Kool-Aid, okay? He might be, maybe he's fine. Maybe Ron he's perfectly fine. Damn hero in my book. But people say stuff like that about somebody, everybody around, that a man names a town over him, after himself? It's just bad vibes, that's all I'm saying. Doesn't feel good. You know, stuff to sell? I don't think I do, really. Hey, Hi. what can I do for you? Nothing, really, but howdy. Didn't mean to crash.
drifting off right away, or do you need a little bit of time? Uh, we're going right away, actually. Any new books for me? I don't. I haven't found actually I haven't found any in a minute, Cora. Any day you make it through is a victory in my book. That's a weirdly both I don't know. It's kind of a downer and an upper, Sam. I don't know how to feel about that. I guess it's an upper at the end of the day. More than anything. I check complete. I don't know, I just don't wake up every day going like I wanna go die today. But some people do, I'm sure, so. Orbital insertion achieved. We're spacebound again. Dad, do you think Solomon Cove would have liked me? Sure. Everybody likes you, don't they? Do you think he would have liked you? Well, hmm. if you listen to your grandpa, Solomon Cove would have given me a good whooping. <laughs> but I think he would have liked Lily really, too. I agree, Sam. Coming from somebody who uh, doesn't know anything about Solomon Coat, really. See, Solomon oh, Coat, from the sounds of it, damn near, you know, started a town from the ground up and damn self, but did he name it Co Town? No. It's a killer city. Oh, yeah, we can't. I forgot about this. Please never make that sound at me again. ECS constant, thank you. I don't enjoy the sound. It's nice our docking bays are compatible, eh? And considering our radios aren't. It's convenient. I'll take it. I always I always think that, that like that's the thing I could put stuff in, but. Stowage. What else would stowage mean? A place to stow stuff to me, you know? It's like saying storage with a W. I enjoy my little ladder. I have to jump to grab. Tremendously. I don't have to. I enjoy the ladder that I choose to jump to grab. Howdy. Don't just give me shit again, stay people. Out of trouble. Shut up. Motherfucker, who just spent $25,000 to save you, hmm? Me, Reginald Damn Dower. Quit blowing me shit. I could've just blown you guys out of the sky. I wouldn't have, but I could've. This feels like the wrong way. Is this the right way, apparently? Hi. Keeping a 200-year-old ship running is no easy task. Yeah, I should talk to your captain first before any of this happens, methinks. She's not going to be thrilled about it. We were but never trained to address I owe talking to her about all this. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Just because our no, equipment's right way. old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. Where's the damn captain? There, things are going to be more interesting. Quarters? Are you? No. Never seen a ship like yours before. Again, I haven't seen any ships before you arrive. Oh, she's sleeping. Well, I think she'd want to be awake for this. Hi. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Okay. Safe travels to you. You too. Nothing to say about it, apparently. That's not the door out. I'm sorry. Sorry to wake you up for nothing. I thought we'd have a conversation about it. Maybe she's already been told. She handles that well, so. I expected this to go poorly. I should know who this person is, but somehow it's escaped my memory. Isn't that the most frustrating thing? On well, the tip of your tongue. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Uh huh. We're in the ship's insufferable. I can't wait for them to leave. Not everybody, I guess. Most of them. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our this guy rocks already. Space, and here you are. Welcome, welcome. Thanks. So he, I, I have mean, a million burning questions, Amen? but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. Uh -huh. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Sure did. We have tech called a grav drive that allows the ship to bend space. Ah, I knew it. It's, it's incredible. 
I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. <laughs> Amazing! I'll have to learn more. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And hey, Amin. I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. I don't doubt it. I'm Reginald Dower. There's something else I need to talk to you about, I mean. Yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. You said you have more questions for me? Yes, I can answer them. so many. Time. Does everyone have their own spaceships like you? Not everybody, do but a lot do. only live on naturally habitable hmm. planets, or did they learn to terraform? A little bit of both. In contact with alien species? I think. I have so many more, but Not I don't sure want yet. to take up all your time. Hmm. No terraforming, but there are colonies on inhospitable planets. We just use hab, suit, hab units and suits. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The amount of energy it would take to terraform an entire planet seems improbable. Currently, I can at least. assume these types of colonies are strictly for mining and gathering rare resources since there are nearly limitless habitable planets to choose from out there. Not everyone has ships, but many people do. <laughs> I knew it! <clears throat> Incredible! Amazing! Simply amazing! In our ancestors' time, only the very wealthy could afford to build ships. Even this ship was only possible by our families pulling together nearly all of their financial resources. No sentient life as far as we can tell, but plenty of diverse living creatures. Mm -hmm. And that, who knows about the uh, Starborn. But not unexpected. When you showed up, I tried to tell the others about the Fermi Paradox. I suggested that the most likely explanation for you was that humanity had developed faster, more advanced technology and had leapfrogged us. Seems I was right. You sure were. I know the question and answer time I have for now. Ah, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. I can have a bit of a big personality, I'm told. So let me know if I ever get on your nerves. You're good, my friend. I'm supposed to help you prep the ship for the grab drive. What grab drive? <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Let's do it. Mm. All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. Ideally, yep. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? It's born ready. Ready as can be. Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. Okay. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Port turbo pump, then auxiliary cryogenic... Then turn the plasma runoff inhibitor yep. function to 5%. Inhibitor 5? Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures magnetic from the auxiliary module assembly. Jesus. Got it? Let's hop to it! Okay. This'll... be fine. Almost certainly. I'm just hearing, okay. Oh, fuck me. Oh, boy. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do a different one first. You want some sort of alien or something? Me too. Hey, pal, I need all this. Times, aren't they? I, I, I need all this. I don't remember him saying anything about either of those. We're doomed. We're all gonna die. This is definitely... I remember magnetic flange pipe somethings, right? Uh-huh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Dude, you gotta say this again, but, like, slower. Do you have, like, a notepad? I can't tell you how many times I've had to make do with... Uh, something wrong? I don't know what the fuck to do. There are three things we need to do. Okay. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Okay. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Okay. So long! Okay. Uh. Ah, 
Agility, cryogenic, something or other, something, right? That's not here, Drew. Port turbo pump? Why does he trust me with this? He's a madman. Uh, we're meant to decouple that. This. I'm certain of it. Did I do it? Okay, we did do it, okay. I thought it would, like, do it, like, do a thing. Boy. Okay. Port turbo pump was a thing. And this was a thing. Uh-huh. My confidence levels right now are around, like... Like, 55%, probably. They're not good. This was a 5%er. This was a 5%er. I've never been more certain of a thing in my life. Looks like everything I'm is good almost... Go both your end and mine. Oh, good. Uh, can you go inform the captain while they're finishing the installation? Yeah, sure thing. You coming, sir? Is a peaceful nope. ship. Don't change that. I want to change whatever the hell I want to change. How? I I don't know why I'm incapable of figuring out how this ship works. She's in here, Drew. You sleep, but again, this all this captain does is sleep. Hi. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. The grav drive is installed. You should all be set. Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. It wasn't she? The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Well, that's good. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Okay. Thank you again for all you've done. I thought you'd be mad. Sure thing. No problem at all. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll I make try. sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. There's no I need for that. I don't know if that. we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. Please don't make Reginald Dower Town or something. She gave me a couple baseballs. And a piggy bank. And a couple soccer balls. Or footballs, I guess, from where you're from, Sarah. A basketball? I like I played basketball. Hockey, three hockey sticks. It's a weird number to give me. Okay. All right. Okay. I think she gave me a gun too. She did. Forty damage. The thing is, like, I'm barely ever gonna have bullets for this. I feel like, unless maybe I can make them. I guess. Okay. Well, cool. I'm not gonna sell that stuff. I'll keep it. We'll put it in an outpost somewhere or something. Quit going in there, Drew. That's not we the right way. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Fair. What? Oh yeah, we need to go back to Paradiso now, don't we? Yep, 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 yep. We'll do. We'll go to Paradiso, then I'll talk to you. We'll have the conversation there, Sarah. It's, it's finally here. We can finally do it now. Things have stopped happening. We've had. We've stopped having people to save the lives of, and also end one life. But, like, he had it coming. You had it coming. We got strict rules around here. I can't hear he had it coming. Or anything about having it coming. Why is this? Without thinking about worms. There's a line someone yelled at a worms world Didn't, party. Where are we headed next? We're heading back to Paradiso, Sarah. You know, I'm fairly certain at one point in my life someone tried to poison my dog. By the the zero wire outside of the door made me think of it. Someone put a chicken breast. We lived in an apartment, and we had like a like right outside the door was like then you turned right and there were stairs down. Separation complete. Right outside of our door, half a chicken breast. At the very bottom of the stairs, another half of a chicken breast. Just seemed a strange thing to do, you know. It seemed peculiar. 
say least. Oh, we're on this. We're, you know what? What am I doing? We're right there. I thought we had to warp for some reason. I managed to get the chicken before the dog got to it. And it was like perfectly placed in front of the door and the stairs, too. Mr. Tofik. What? Oh, can I see where they go? That'll be cool. I hope so. We should go check on them after, Sarah. This is your... After this. As we were landing, I picked up a message from Arja. <clears throat> she said to meet us at the park overlooking the ocean. I hope she hasn't been waiting Before the whole time. Before we go to the ceremony. I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me this is exactly what you want. Sure thing. But this time, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, Sarah Morgan. Ah, oh, I just melt when I hear you say things like that to me. I love you. And I'm forever thankful to have someone as amazing as you in my life. Me too. Now come on. Arja is waiting for us. I'm excited to meet her. Nothing to worry about. To make up for this, allow me to credit your account. Sorry we didn't have a chance until now, but now is the time, I guess. This place looks real different during the day. Look weird. I bet you those aren't really birds. I bet there's like speakers in these trees. That just seems like parody, so doesn't it? Tree speaker birds. <clears throat> they even sound kind of like speakers, don't they? Enhance. Enjoy your stay, knowing you're in our capable hands. Yeah, yeah. Chunks. This just looks like a place that sells chunks, doesn't it? Oh, I should have had a nice... I have any nice to wear. I've got my cool jacket. Are you fine with this jacket? You wear a cool jacket, too. We can both wear cool jackets. Hi! It's so lovely to see you, Sarah. It's wonderful to see you too, Aja. This is the one I told you about. I've heard a lot about you. All of it good. You're quite a catch. I don't know about that. Ten seconds in and already you're embarrassing everyone. Before we go any further, I just <coughs> want to make sure that you are right for Sarah. She's quite special, hmm? I agree. She's more than special. She's one of a kind. Oh, God. Now you're embarrassing <laughs> me. <laughs> That's called love, my dear. You better get used to it. Well, I've seen enough. I can read people the moment I lay eyes on them. It's a hell of a skill. You're going to make Sarah quite happy. Coming from you, Aja, that means a lot. Of course, Sarah. You know I always look out for you. Now, are we ready to begin the ceremony? I'm ready. Very well. If everyone's ready, then I'll begin. It's been years since Sarah Morgan and I have spoken. And though it might appear that we've grown apart, I feel that we've become closer friends than ever before. When I received the message with Sarah's intent to marry, and that she wanted me to officiate the ceremony, <laughs> I was overwhelmed with joy. Not because she had decided to rekindle our friendship, but because she was allowing me to share the happiest moment of her life. I can't imagine a greater honor. And for that, Sarah, I thank you. I wouldn't have had it any other way, Aja. Before you present your vows, I'd ask both of you to remember that love is what brought you together today. It is a foundation upon which a structure of trust, faith, and affirmation is built. This structure can be absolutely impenetrable if you both agree to love each other unconditionally with faith devotion and acceptance and most importantly to allow yourself to be loved remember there are no other bonds more meaningful than the one you are undertaking today you should cherish this moment and hold it close to your hearts 
as a reminder of the love you share. If you both are willing to abide by these words, then you can be assured that your lives will be filled with joy and happiness forever. That was beautiful, Asha. Thank you. Did you need a moment, Sara? No. No, I'm fine. But I wanted to say something before you continue. When we stood beside that waterfall in New Atlantis, you told me that I needed to forget the past and focus on what I have right now. I swear with every fiber of my being that the past will no longer be an obstacle in my life. And I will honor your words by focusing my affection on the most important thing in my life. You, this is my solemn pledge to you. From deep within my heart, from deep within my soul, for all eternity. And you? Did you have anything you wanted to say to Sarah? Oh boy. I felt in this middle one the most. The words you just said mean the world to me, and I swear I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. I know you will. Whatever challenges life throws in our path, you can be certain that we will shoulder those burdens together. I'm going to hold you to that promise. You had a gift, Sara? Oh shit, I don't have yes. a gift. I wanted you to have this oh, no. as a token of our love. I'm giving this to you as a symbol of the clean break I've made from my past. Oh, it would have been impossible without your help. And for that, I'll be forever grateful. With these promises of affection and these vows you've exchanged, by the power vested in me by the Articles of Constellation, I happily pronounce you life mates. Congratulations! Aja, I don't know what to say. That was... Oh, amazing. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having the ceremony without you. I'm glad everything worked out for you, Sara. I'm only sorry that we waited so long to reach out and contact one another. Thanks for everything, Aja. It was my pleasure. Well, you're both welcome to stay here for as long as you like. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. I wish the both of you a happy and healthy life together. Thank you. I'll never forget this, Aja. Thank you. Reginald won't either. Don't worry. I know how you do this, baby. I'll try to work on her for you and Sarah. The two of us make quite the pair, eh? I think so. Anything new here? Not at all. Nothing new. I'll be counting the minutes to our next chat. Okay. Oh, are these like... Are these like places you can stay? I don't have like any money is the issue here. I'm broke. Sarah, we're broke. We spent all our money uh, rescuing those people. Dude, this is nice. This is real nice. This is cool. I like this. Can I turn the light off? Well, look at this shower. I want a shower head that wide. It rocks. How much are these rooms? It'd be nice to rent one for the night, you know? It'd be like a honeymoon. I'm assuming you buy them in here. I probably have to sell some stuff to, to get the room. I doubt you it's less than 5000 Which one do I... General store. 
I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is. Don't say that like that. Need something? Hi. Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop in Convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. That's usually how it works, yeah. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to aggro with me. Isn't that the most annoying thing? Let's see what you got for sale. Looking for a souvenir? I'm actually just trying to sell you stuff, ma'am. That's all. And here I don't fancy. Not really. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can sell some aid. I have to go through all this stuff is... Like, why do I have... Oh, okay. For some reason I thought I had 48 Chandra Merlot. But I just have the one. I'm not gonna... Well, actually, that might be nice to have tonight. You know? There we go. We'll keep that tonight. I'm not gonna become Chuck's Cola. I'll get rid of that. Wine? Get out of here. What's this do? I'll keep it. Goes in to sell things, realizes he doesn't want to sell anything. I'm a fool. Now, I don't need four of those. It's just, it's, bas it's basically worthless, is the issue. Like, what if here's worth anything? Nothing. Is here worth anything? Ooh, survey data, yes. Okay. I'm not selling my constellation guides. I don't want to get rid of those. I have some, some kinds of ammo I have, I have just so many of. Dear God. Who has this kind of time? Me, I'm the guy who has that kind of time. You know, they barely have any credits left anyways. Before I keep doing this, okay. how much is a, is a room? This is probably the best vacation I've ever Hey Dirk. Had. Another lost belonging notification in the system. When am I going to find the time? I was just saying something similar. Oh dear, a guest. Dreadfully sorry you had to hear my complaint. No oh, worries, pal. Professional of me. Hey, you're a person. Hello. Welcome to Paradiso. Dirk Huddleston at your service. Do you need assistance checking in for your reservation? I actually don't have a reservation. I don't have reservations, but I'd like to book a room now. Hmm. Very well. I can't guarantee we have any premium rooms available at the moment, but if you're still interested, we may have other rooms. There's one out there, that one's in. I need a room. The system shows that we do, in fact, have a room available. Okay. And what is your desired length of stay with us? Hmm. Holy shit, 1800 for a week? What are you thinking, Sarah? How long are we going to be here? We'll go, we'll go a day at a time. How about that? But three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So one week's just a one day. That's nah, fine. Well, you'll find Not your that much more upstairs. expensive. I hope it's to your liking. Don't be afraid to ask for anything. Okay. Visit your rented room. Well, I'm gonna be honest, Sarah. We'll see if we get one outside, but maybe the outside's the, the premium ones. You know. How do you set a reservation? I wonder. I'm just glad I don't work on the luxury cruisers that bring people here. Yeah, someone was saying something similar, pal. The Lux Penthouse Suite seems pretty nice still. Let's check it out. Is it this one? Hello? It is. That's our holy shit, this is all ours? Dude. I've never seen a hotel room this big in my whole life. Oh, there's the there's Hobbs. Look at that. And I wish, do I wish his balcony facing the other way? Certainly I do. But it's still pretty nice, isn't it, Sarah? Look at the mountains. The mountains are pretty dope. What the? We have a master bathroom and a guest bathroom. Ridiculous. Unnecessary. I love it. I can't take this? That's ridiculous. Contains coffee, maybe. A very large TV. Oh, we do have another balcony, too. 
And it's an ocean one. I'm glad we sent the colonists away. I think this would have been a bad place for them. That's neat. Got like a little Rorschach test in the middle. Ooh. Will he put all the balls on the table? Seems like, doesn't it? Sure seems like he is. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Nope, just, just leave that, okay. This is harder than it looks. I want you to know there's some skill involved here. This is not a piece of cake. Can I pick up the triangle too? I can't pick up the triangle, so I can't really do this right, but it's life, you know? We used to play a game called Scum on a pool table, which is not really a pool game at all. But someone would have the white ball. Well, no, no, not really. There's, there's the white ball and the black ball. Your goal was to hit the black ball with the white ball, with like just your hand, not the stick, into a hole. Or uh, have, have the, the black ball stop. Or the white ball stop. I don't remember. One or the other. Uh, before the other person could take their shot. So either like you, you hit black ball with white ball with your hand into a pocket. Or you hit black ball with white ball. And then the other person has a chance to like sprint over to wherever that is in the table. Grab the white ball and hit the black ball. It was a great game. It was a fantastic game. I hurt my fingers so many times. So many people tripped over pool tables. It was fantastic. Can I, this is not right. Why can't I... Hello? Damn it all. You know what? I'll keep it, Sarah. A souvenir. Here, you, know, you take the black one. I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, my day just got a whole lot brighter. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> just kidding. Here. I both have a little souvenir. Oh, I love our little chats. You know how to make a woman feel special. Well, I, all I did really was give you a, an eight ball. But it was the thought that counted, really, I guess. I think it's sleeping time. What's in here? Nothing. Can't turn the lights off. I sure can't. I do a, do a full eight hours. 